Yo, what's going on guys? Wave Winter has finally released and we got a whole bunch of new things that have come out with this update. Um, there's a lot to go over uh, from weather to what you should be doing to level up. Um, all that good stuff. Uh, there are a few things that are different. There are a few things that are the same, but uh, all these things will make your lives easier in this new scenario. So let's jump straight into it. So first things first, there's going to be some similarities and differences into this season and the scenario. Um, when we look at the map, uh, pretty much everything about leveling and all that good stuff is going to be the same. You're going to have your uh, your rift anchors that you're want, going to want to go to, clear those areas, get the mystical crates, get those rewards. These are going to be the best way to level up. Um, I was able to get to, I think, level 27, level 28. Um, within eight hours of gameplay, and I've completed every single Rift Anchor zone uh, in the two areas, I think it's Fjord and Onyx Tundra. Um, so we're, this is basically how you want to go about it. I do have some side quests that I can do. Um, I'm not going to do them right now just because I don't feel like doing them. Side quests aren't really my thing, but you can also do those to level up. Um, mats and materials. There are a ton of them in this uh, scenario. I don't know if uh, people complained or what the uh, deal is with that, but literally, if you go to any Rift Anchor zone, uh, there's going to be so many, like so many materials. It's not even funny. Uh, and then you tie that together. Uh, I currently have a, a two perk disassembly bench. Uh, so I would highly recommend going to all those to get also materials uh, as well as xp and levels um that's pretty much going to be the same as uh before uh from the other old map down over here uh, what is different however uh and i would recommend uh you guys pay close attention to this is the whole heating system so right now i currently got a campfire going i got my torch out and i also have a special thing over here called helium um, the weather in this game is no joke now. Uh, it is really no joke. I've died more times to weather-related, like, afflictions than I have actual mobs, monsters, dungeons, all that good stuff in the two, uh, seasons prior to this. So, uh, they were not joking when they said, uh, you really, really need to focus on your your heating and your cooling. So right now in the first two zones, it's going to be heating yourself. It's going to be cold, so you want to get fire, all that good stuff. And the next zone is going to be cooling, uh, and I assume that the, uh, the system sort of is the same. Maybe they have AC. I haven't really looked into that just because I've been focused on this. But there are a few ways to go about uh, heating yourself up. Number one, as you can see, I have my melee weapon, the torch. Uh, this will give you an absolute, uh, I would say, basically it's going to be your bread and butter of heating yourself. Um, as well as over here in the supplies workbench, there's going to be a craft called Hedium. All it takes, I think, is gravel and then charcoal. Uh, and it gives you an hour of resistance to the cold. And it's going to be the same thing. I think it's, let me, let me double check this so I don't get this wrong. It's called Thermium. Oh, no, no. Thermium is the other one. I forget which the other other one. Uh, but either way, um, it's going to cool you in the next zones. Uh, you also have this campfire here uh, for when or you're home. And I'm pretty sure they also have stoves and, and whatnot. Uh, the only issue that there are with these things, and if you've watched other videos, these do not really have a big distance. So you're going to either need a lot of them or you're going to need to make your base relatively small. I'm still debating on which I want to do. But either way, I don't think... Uh, materials like fuel or anything like that it's going to be too big of a problem but i will let you know how big the range is right here is where the range cuts off so right now that has no effect on me i move over here let's see right here is where it starts having effect on me uh, so i recommend either making your base extraordinarily small or having a lot of these and they don't take too much i think uh premium fuel if you put one premium fuel in there it's going to last you an hour um, so it's it's not too bad at the end of the day um, And there's also a few other ways. There's this thing. I believe it's called the uh, Chaosium lantern that you can use um, I would only recommend you use the Chaosium lantern on emergency situations uh, a lot of people including myself. I'm not prone to this 
we tried the Chaosium Lantern with like 500 Chaosium. We were like, okay, that's going to be a decent amount. Um, every three to five seconds, it's taking out uh, six Chaosium. So if you have like 500, that's going to last you like, uh, what is it, five minutes? Quick math in my head. Something like that. Either way, uh, that is only for emergency uses only. Only for emergency uses only. You're going to want to use uh, your Helium, your Torch, and... I don't know. I, I've been told that you could use, like, items to bring it down, but I have yet to see it. The only thing I have seen when it comes to, uh, when it comes to armor is this new set. Let me see if I can find it. Yes, this set right here is called the Blackstone set. The first one is Cold and Heat Resist plus 2.5. That's, it's, I think it's a one perk that'll help you with that, but either way, it'll, that'll help you a little bit. Um, and that's going to be everything for uh, keeping your temperature in line because, again, it is a serious, serious, serious nuisance. Now that we've gone over all the survival mechanics and all that good stuff, what are you going to do when you've done everything like myself and you want to get ahead of the curve? Um, this is what I've used for previous scenarios. I'm not going to do it this time, go around just because... I don't really see a point for myself. I are always go hard and I'm sort of taking a little a breather, I guess I would say, for this season. But for anybody who gets to like 27, 28, you guys have cleared all your rift anchors, you guys have done all your side quests, all that good stuff. But you still want to level, you still want to do this. Here are some recommendations for those players. Number one, we have the monolith over here, the avalanche monolith. Surprisingly, we only get two. This one's a level 25, so it's not going to go absolutely insane, but you can farm the Treant on repeat. The Treant's a pretty easy boss. Uh, this will get you a few levels pretty quickly, uh, but you'll notice actually relatively quickly that the XP will fall off. And what I recommend then you go do after that is there's going to be the Rift Anchors. Again, we're going back to the Rift Anchors. These are going to be your, your bread and butter. Um, you're going to want to go to the highest rift anchor you could possibly find with the most and this is a huge caveat with the most amount of enemies um frost forge was a pretty good one there was a, a lot of en uh, enemies there in this level 29 so you can always farm that um let me see up here uh that's only six now so frost forge will probably be your go-to uh, that's definitely not it yeah so i would say probably just go to frost forge uh, and just kill enemies, get loot, all that good stuff. And that's how I go about it. And maybe even still silos, but silos take a little bit longer. So this is for like the, the people who want to min-max their leveling. Go go to the Frost Forge. And um, that should last you however long it lasts you, whenever you guys want to give up. But uh, yeah, that's what I would recommend for the hardcore players. And for people who are just casually going about it, enjoy. Enjoy your time. Don't, uh, don't feel rushed. You have a whole week. Um... Like I said, I finished all this in eight hours, so you can spread that over the course of a week and not have a problem. Hopefully this guide helps you guys out. Uh, this is how I've gone about it and how I was able to easily get through all the content in the first uh, uh, scenario for, uh, or yeah, the first yeah, first scenario of the, of the way winter season. Um, that's a tongue twister, uh, but this is how I've gone about it and it's been basically a breeze. Uh, beyond just trying to figure out the whole uh, winter climate and all that good stuff. But um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys have any tips or tricks for any other players or even myself, if I've missed anything, let me know in the comments. And as always, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.